Streak allows us to divide our pipelines into meaningful segments called saved views. We can create saved views to surface leads that need follow-up, deals that are closing this week, and other important parts of our workflow. In this lesson, we'll learn how to create saved views by filtering, sorting, and grouping our pipeline data. Stay tuned because I'll be showing you how to make one of the most useful saved views for any team and how to surface that important work right in your inbox. We'll be sharing pro tips and pointers throughout the lesson to help you master saved views. If you're not familiar with saved views or need a refresher, check out the previous lesson to learn what they are and why we use them. The pipeline view shows us all of our data for a certain process. It's important to have all of this information in one place, but our jobs also depend on us honing in on specific details. Safe views help us find these details so we can work more effectively and make sure nothing slips through the cracks. Let's create a saved view to show us all of our contacted leads that haven't had any interaction in seven days. These are the people we want to follow up with. Feel free to follow along as we walk through each step. We can create saved views by going to the saved view editor at the top of our pipeline. This shows us the three functions of a saved view, filtering, sorting, and grouping our box data. The saved view editor lets us map out our saved view in one workspace, and it also lets us create more advanced logic for our saved views. We'll dive more into that in the next lesson. In this lesson, we're going to get started with saved views right in our pipeline, since that lets us play around a bit more and see our results immediately. We can apply these functions to any custom column or magic column in our pipeline by clicking the arrow next to the column name. Let's start out with our filters. I want to hone in on the leads we've already contacted, so we'll add a filter to the stage column. Click the arrow next to the column name, hover over Filter Stage, and select all of the stages that we want to see in our saved view. Click Apply when you're done. Now we're only seeing boxes in our contacted and follow-up stages. Since we just added a filter to our pipeline, this banner at the top tells us that we're looking at a saved view, well, an unsaved view in this case, and that we have one filter applied. Next, let's add a filter to the Assigned To column to see only my own leads here. Open the column menu, hover over Filter Assigned To, and we'll choose Me. The Me option is special because it shows everybody on our team their own leads when they look at this saved view. That means we don't have to create separate pipelines for each team member's leads, just one saved view. Okay, now we've added two filters and we're looking at all of my leads that have already been contacted. The last filter we want to add is going to show us only the leads that haven't had any interaction in seven days. I'm going to look at the date of last interaction magic column since that includes call logs, meeting notes, and emails with our leads. However, you could also use the date of last email column or the date last updated column for your filter. If you need a refresher on magic columns, check out the pipeline deep dive lesson on column types. For our filter, we'll choose date of last interaction is before seven days ago. Great, now we're looking at my leads that I've already contacted, but who haven't had any interaction in the last week. The next function of a saved view is sorting our pipeline data. This lets us decide the order that we want our boxes to be displayed within each grouping. Let's sort our boxes in each stage by the date of the last interaction. Click the arrow next to the date of last interaction column, hover over the sort option, and we'll choose to sort by oldest to newest. Now our boxes are listed in order of the oldest interaction to the newest interaction within each stage. The final way to customize a saved view is by grouping the boxes in our pipeline. Boxes are grouped by stage as a default, so we typically see each stage listed in the colorful group bar at the top, and also in each grouping in our pipeline. A saved view lets us group by something other than stage. For example, we could group by region to get a general sense of what time zone these leads are in, so we know the best time to follow up. Click the arrow next to the column name and select the Group By option. Now, instead of seeing each stage name, we'll see our leads broken out by the region they're in. 
Now that the saved view is exactly how I want it, I'm going to save it for future use. Click Save as New View and give it a short but descriptive name. Once we save it, we'll find our saved view listed in the sidebar under the Wholesale Coffee Pipeline. Then we could send a mail merge, move them to a new stage, or work through each box individually. Since I'm going to refer to this saved view daily, I'll check this box to show the saved view results right in my inbox. This adds a new section in my inbox so I can see who needs my attention as soon as I log into my email. From here, we can open boxes to see the most recent interactions and follow up with our contacts. It's important to remember that a saved view is just another way to visualize the data that's already in our pipelines. If we delete boxes or columns from this saved view, we will be deleting it from our actual pipeline. As you can imagine, the possibilities are endless with saved views. In the next lesson, we'll walk you through using the saved view editor and show you how to make a more advanced saved view to use in your daily workflow.